Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my simple cottage life. Well, let me tell you. So I, I came to my Walmart pharmacy yesterday because I had to pick up my thyroid medication. So I get there and they say it's not ready. There's a truck coming in that afternoon. I had gotten a text saying, yeah, you can come get it. So I say, okay, I'll just come back tomorrow. So I went today and I went through the drive-thru. So I'm at the drive-thru. I got the, the medication for my thyroid. And she wants to know if I would like to have some free COVID tests and I, to take home with me. And I said, yeah, sure. Give me, a, give me a couple of them. So she did. I said, while I'm here, I said, I understand that um, Medicare will pay for shingle shots now. And she said, yes, they will. And I said, okay, I'll park and I'll come in and get my shingle shot. So I go in and she comes out and hands me all these paperwork and I've got to fill out, you know, all this information. Then she says, do you have part D on your ooh, truck? Why don't you just wait till I get right up on you and then pull up out, which is what you did. She said, do you have part B, uh, D on your Medicare and I said no just A and B she said then it won't pay for your shingle shot and it's 200 and something dollars per shot and you have to have two of them so I'm just back to square one so we go all through this and the pharmacist talks about it and he looks up some stuff and all that and then they discover that if you go to your regular doctor's office and get a shingle shot from them that Medicare will pay for it, but not at a pharmacy. Not at any pharmacy. It won't pay for it unless you have Part D. But at the doctor's office, it will pay for it. And I'm thinking, that sure does leave out a large percentage of the population if they can't get a free shingle shot. You know, not everybody can afford over $500. And if they're going to make it free for people, Medicare is, then, the, you know, pick up Part A or Part B and don't make people have Part D. I don't have Part D. I never did. And it doesn't make sense to me. There's just an awful lot of people that won't be able to get the shingle shot because of that. Well, I have um, an appointment with my NP for the 1st of April. Now, I'm going to ask her, can I get a shingle shot or not there? She said, no, we don't get those. And I'm just up a creek, you know, without a paddle there. So while I was there, I went ahead and got my pneumonia shot. Because when I got my flu shot a month or so ago, I did not get, or a couple of months ago, I did not get the pneumonia shot at that time so today I got the pneumonia shot and Medicare does pay for it and you don't have to have part B a D anyway so if you're thinking that Medicare is going to pay for your shingle shot make sure you have part D or you have to pay for it yourself. And there was there was another one. I can't remember. Oh, tetanus. I can't get a tetanus. 
tetanus shot unless you have Part D either. I, I think. I, I, I'm not going to say that because we talked about tetanus and he told me to, to think about getting that and I know I need to but there's something else that he talked about that you have to have Part D to pay for it. And I'm really confused with all this stuff now. So I'm going to go home. <laughs> I, at least I got my pneumonia shot. And I'm glad to have that. And uh, so it would be a while before I have to have another one. Because you don't have to have one of those every year. You do the flu, but not, not pneumonia. So anyway, I'm going to go home and work on my patio. I got my other fairy lights up last night. And uh, I'm getting my cat feeder self-feeder bowls ready okay so my video got interrupted because I had a phone call and so I just came on home decided I would come on out and start testing out my self-feed feeders for my cats I have about six of these one for the front porch for the calico and one for Mrs. Key. See, that's the uh, feeders, self-feeders. They look like that. And then I have four. Look at this cute picture right here, y'all. Isn't that a doll baby? So I have four that's gonna go on my patio out here for my kitties. So they can have fresh food every day and I won't have to worry about them being hungry while I'm gone to New York City. I've had these feeders for over a month now and I knew as time got closer to my trip that I would need to try them out and see how well they work. I know they get clogged up a little bit but I had a um, uh, viewers tell me that they'll dig that out of there. It'll eventually feed that come out. And they seem to like it pretty much. Jin Jin tried it out, didn't you, baby boy? Didn't you, beautiful baby boy, my baby? Look at that silly over there. Lazy silly. Mr. LG. Anyway. So that's my plan for feeding my kitties while I'm gone. Y'all who know me know that I would never, ever, ever not take care of my kitties. So I think that's going to work just fine. I'll put the rest of them, I'll fill up the rest of them as time passes and I'll have them sitting out here probably put them under this table here. So now I'm really, really glad that I have a cover on this patio. Okay, so that's that. Okay, y'all, I've got to get busy. I put up the lights on the other side of my patio yesterday. And as you see, oh, let me get back and show you. As you can see, I've got it all the way to the end now, and look at all the room I've got. I've realized that d fixing both of these sides, I have an additional five feet of space. That's quite a bit. So I move my table on over. All I've got to do is finish this one here, and then the pathway to the um, gate. And I'll have that done. Okay, my loves. Y'all enjoy your food, okay? I'm going in, and I'll see you in a minute. I've got some more stuff to do out here. It's kind of, it's kind of misty rain here today. It's not cold, but it's kind of yucky. So, all right, y'all. Have a great day. Uh, as always, I hope God is good to you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.